Well, today we're really excited to have Sharon Lovejoy with us. She's the author of several children's books, including Sunflower Houses and Hollyhock Days, and we've adapted a lot of her ideas out here to Oklahoma Gardening. We're really glad to have you here today, Sharon. And I'm glad to be here. I'm so, excited. It's beautiful here. It is. Well, today Sharon's going to show us um, some ideas on how to get kids interested in gardening, and she's harvested some some toys from the garden and she's going to show us how to use those. Kids are great at um, picking things. I'm sure you know that. They love doing that. They love harvesting from the garden. And something that we are blessed with or cursed with, whatever, whichever way you want to look at it, uh, are dandelions. <laughs> my grandma used to make dandelion wine, but there are other uses for dandelions too. And one of my favorite uses is a day-long jump rope. And you see this chain? Oh, yeah. And all I do for this is very simple. Collect nice succulent dandelions and use my finger, put a split in the stem, like so. And you take another one. The fatter, the better. It was, of course, very hard to find dandelions in this beautiful Oklahoma garden. Thread it through, like so. I bet you did this when you were a child. And then pull it up and just oh, yeah. proceed over and over. And this is so great because kids can not only make a jump rope that will last for a whole day of play, but they can make garlands for their head, necklaces. There's even something called a dandelion wristwatch where the kids only do two of them and they walk around pretending like they're reading the time from the dandelion. This is a very ancient thing that's been done in Europe and China and, and in America. And I've talked to people in their 90s who've talked about doing this. It's so fabulous. Mm. Another thing, we want to get kids, we want them to understand that they don't have to go to the store to get something wonderful to play with. Mm -hmm. And just by cutting out paper, this is simply a piece of folded over, you can use even the envelopes you get from uh, throwaway mail, mm -hmm. junk mail. Folding it over, cutting out the outline of a girl or a boy, and you can, the kids can decorate them with paint or with inks or with pencils or crayons. This is how it was done in Victorian times. You see what it is. It's just folded over and cut out mm -hmm. with a little hole left in the top. And what they did in Victorian times is they used flower faces. So let's get a big, fat, gorgeous flower here. Pansies always good. And those of us who love pansies know that pansies have faces. And those were the top. Those were oh, the flower. Cute. And then the kids played with these for hours and hours and hours just as we played with, with, with dolls when we were children. And I'll leave that there. And um, we've got some seed pods here. Well, these are fabulous. Kids can always find plenty to do with seed pods and a little bit of glue. That's all you need. Um, probably the favorite toy of children is acorns and acorn caps. And how can you go wrong with them? You can make little fairy tea sets and bowls and fill these up with little bits of flour to look like salads. That's what kids like to oh, do, yeah. and they're wonderful. The children like to drink out of the little acorn caps. And with just a little bit of glue, you can take something like a magnolia pod and glue on uh, maybe a little cone mm -hmm. and make a hedgehog. Look, I have a spider visiting oh, me. Yeah. And make a hedgehog, there you go. There are just a lot of different ducks and, and critters that they can make out of pods. So just experiment a little bit with a little bit of glue. This is one of my favorite flowers for children. I like to plant personality flowers kids can play with. And how many times when you were a child did you do snapdragon yes, dragons? I still do that. Yes, and, and one of the things kids love to do with these is clip them on as mm. clip-on earrings and wear them as clip-on earrings all day long, wear them as brooches on their clothing. And sometimes when we give birthday parties for the children, we use them as little place card holders at each place at the table and the kids really love that it looks charming so i think dandelions are one of the or dandelions and snapdragons and sunflowers the old-fashioned flowers now you've got a nasturtium here what what can you do with that well have you ever eaten them oh yes they're well great. they're great stuffed with guacamole or with cream cheese mm -hmm. and these are the perfect head for flower dolls let's say we have a an acorn face flower doll and this is her little head that she has and then the kids oh, can just paint cute. the face on mm -hmm. i love that so you can't go wrong also i love nasturtium because the hummingbirds love them and they love to eat from these they sip nectar from these um, I don't know if you remember reading in Sunflower Houses, I talked about daisy grandmothers. And, and in Victorian times, it was often the children would go out and pick daisies and make dolls just simply out of daisy stalks. And they would paint little faces on and then pull off the petals 
so they could have a grandfather with a little beard and a hat on, or they could have, um, they could have, they'd pick all these out and pretend like they had a grandma with bonnet strings hanging down. They were called daisy grandmothers and daisy grandfathers, oh, so and great. all you need is a pencil to draw the faces on. Okay. Well, these are great ideas, and I really thank you for stopping by today. This has really been fun. It's been my pleasure. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.